Hey, hey, it's Michael. Welcome back after a long break. New video is coming every single week. I'm trying to post twice a week. So this time I'm going to show you how to configure the scram board like a boss. So we're going to talk about simplified workflow. And also I'm going to show you how to use swim lanes and card colors yeah so swim lines quick filters and card colors but first let's talk about the simplified workflow and this training is dedicated to the jira cloud free version so if you do not have it go to atlassian website sign up try it free yeah it's going to cost you zero and it is great so the the, the, the only small difference in free, free version is there is no advanced permission which means you, you won't be able to create um let's say private project, but the rest is absolutely fine. All right, so let's jump into Jira. And as always, please, please, please do not watch it. Just follow, follow, follow my steps. And of course, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so as I told you, we'll be using Jira Cloud 2022 version, which I don't think there is something like this, but just to let you know, I am using, of course, free version. However, if you have a standard, that's absolutely no problem. Very quickly, let's, let's clarify it because Atlassian uh, changed. It's not recently. I think it's for, for for a while. But just to just to explain how it works. So the free version right now is up to ten users. So no more ten dollars version. And at the moment, the free version for up to ten users got pretty much all functionality bad <laughs> there is no this advanced permissions and there is no project role so it means basically you won't be able to create private project but the rest is absolutely fine you know i'm not talking about like two gig uh, storage because it it's I'm, I'm sure you're not going to use it as the dropbox anyway so now if you already have your jira if you already are the project administrator now you need to obviously navigate to create a project uh, start set setting up your project and it doesn't really matter if you want to add a few tickets or you want to create like a demo space that's absolutely fine but of course you know you need some tickets you need some basically tickets to replicate my steps all right so i am using scrum and of course very important information is this is the version of the classic so not the next i think they call it team managed so this is the the the, the how, the, how do you call it the instance manage on that right hand side when you go into project you're creating project there is a um, question about the template please choice that 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 classic one of i believe it's on the right hand side and you're gonna see something like this so this is not the next gen because in next gen yes the new video is coming very soon about the next gen but we're gonna only talk about this one so when you're gonna create few tickets please of course you know this is not about sprint how to start a sprint but you need to drag them to the to the sprint my sprint is already ongoing and of course you need to hit that start sprint otherwise you won't be able to see of course tickets in the active sprint this is just a quick recap probably you know about this already okay so what we can do over here well let's very very quickly stop about uh, stop um, if, if we're talking about our simplified workflow yeah why why actually simplify workflow why the board and why the simplify workflow why because there is very very actually close connection so i can only tell you one thing i absolutely i love i love actually i really love um simplified workflows however yes there are some issues and i can really under i cannot understand why there is actually so much hate uh, towards um, uh, simplify workflow i'm going to explain in a very very few words what the simplify workflow is it means you can basically take the issue from any card it doesn't matter is is to do and drag it to any any status yeah so nothing in simplify workflow is going to stop you to for instance you know just going through to uh, first into in progress and next one go to the done and by the way this layout what you can see is very default so when you when you create you're going to see exactly the same so why people do not like it obviously the one of the problems is that you can take this issue straight away put it to the done we know about this yeah but you know we're not going to arguing about this over here and in my opinion 
it is all about the team and how Scrum Masters want to manage, how uh, was the basically deal with the, with the product, even owner, and what is the deal inside the team? Because believe me, some people some people think that the, the Simplify works is very for, for a very very small team, but it is actually not. I have I work with a client. And um, the team got, was not like super large, something like, I believe, about 20, 25 people. And they very success, very successfully were using a simplified workflow. Yeah. And why actually I like it so much? Because you don't have to navigate to the project settings, to the workflows. You can, of course, to apply any changes. Yeah, this is actually great. You know, look, and you, look you can ever go, go over here. I don't want the grammar. And... I can see straight away this is a simplify workflow and yes absolutely you can start adding statuses over here i'm going to probably like a little bit uh redo it even you know, i don't even know if we need that uh can we remove it probably not but doesn't doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. so i'm gonna like little bit little bit you know little bit reorganize it yep yeah. uh anyway okay let's go back let's publish draft no so yes, you can, of course, like like I'm doing right right here, you can modify that workflow. But if you navigate to the active sprint, you can do it from here, which is very, very, very good, actually. It, it is great. And on top of it, there is something else. There is a permission. Yeah, of course, no, I use, I use actually the free version, so there's no any advanced permissions. However, if you use a uh, cloud version, paid, paid version, you can apply, you can apply um, apply. You can actually change the permission somebody to be a project administrator. Yes, they, do, they don't need to be a system administrator to change that. So that's great. And I'm going to show you actually a few tricks. So we go to board settings. And as you saw it, I've got this blocked by because I've been rehearsing this, of course. And now I'm going to show you a real life example how to add a few extra steps into workflow in like minutes. And it is super, super quick. So now, you know, maybe 10 Take, take pen and paper, but the best if you replicate my uh, steps. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually add a few columns. So I'm going to add a new column called, of course, blocked. And by the way, I cannot actually choose the category at the moment, but just to let you know, this category over here is just a tag. Yeah, so like to do. Uh, so so like if we don't give that like binary status, to do is um to do is basically zero there is no no any work yeah so it, this is just a visual reference so of course you know i cannot choose it because i've already been doing this before so i'm going to add very quickly there you go and look at this now i'm going to go back and my my status is already there however you can actually see little issue there is like a little bug when you keep adding for the first time you won't be able to move the issue when you hit the back um, to the block. D don't panic, <laughs> just hit F5. It's, I don't know, it's, I believe it's like a small bug. And look at this, now blocked is already configured. Yeah, so let's go back, go board settings, and now add a few extra. Yeah? Why not? We're going to add something like in review. In review. And again, you know, because I've been rehearsing this before, but let's very quickly stop on this uh, process. Why? Because if you're adding that in review, uh, Jira is adding something in the background for you. It's really clever. So if the status in review does not exist when we're adding column, Jira automatically is going to add that status for you. Very cool. I really, really like it. Look at this. I'm going to add it. And now, you know, maybe I do not like the order. You can reorder it. There you go. Go back. Don't forget to hit F5. And... We can drag them, yeah? And this is actually the whole beauty of the Simplify workflow. Look at this, how quickly you can build even sophisticated workflow using just the board. You do not need to navigate to this project settings, yeah? Pretty cool. Okay, but I would like to show you something which not a lot of people have been even like been trying this. I don't know why. It's 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 very cool. So why? Because very quickly you're gonna realize, especially when you've never done it before, that you can actually build this board and it's gonna be pretty pretty busy with a lot of statuses. So of course, you know, I can recommend up to like 10, 11 statuses. If it's more, it's gonna be a little difficult to um 
read it, you know, and, and obviously G, I think GI is also going to tell you something like this. They're going to say, oh, consider a decreasing amount of columns, yeah? So yes, there is a trick what you can utilize right now. So look at this. We're going to go back to board settings and let's do we have something in a block? I think we've got two, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to utilize the column blocked because to me, blocked is a little bit too broad and I would like to add two more statuses. Like, because you, know, you can ask yourself, like, what, what is what is blocked? It's very, very broad, actually, uh, line, yeah? Line, column, or status. So for that reason, I'm going to put the blocked aside and I'm going to add new status. And that new status will be waiting because I've been doing already doing this before for support. And again, you know, the category should be to do. We're going to leave it over here and we're going to add another one waiting for a client because there are those two pretty common. Yeah. So I'm going to put them into my blocked status and look at this. What's happened now? I'm going to go back. And, oh, there is still one blocked. Why? What's happened? So don't forget to hit F5 because we've got this little bug. And now when I'm going to move it, my issues to blocked, we're going to have some, like, a split screen. So please, please use this widely. You know, this is actually great functionality. You can, you can utilize um, a column to put multiple statuses. Yeah. So if you require, of course, more steps that will compress, like condense, yeah, condense that board. All right, so that is pretty much cool. Please experiment. And by the way, that setup, what I'm, what I'm actually giving you uh, in our organization is widely used. Yeah, I can, I can tell you close to 40 to, to, to 50% of teams using exactly the same setup with small, with small extra modifications. What else we can do to optimize our board? So that will be definitely quick filters and swim lanes. Let's do it. So what is the quick filter? Quick filter is located on the stop site next to the search. I believe this one is actually searching for issues. Uh, yeah. If we go, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool search. Yeah. And what is actually, what is usage of that? So obviously, put yourself to if you use only my issues, you're going to see only issues which you are assigning. So very cool. And, and believe me, a lot of actually teams use this button enable probably most <laughs> for most of the time. So I would like to add my quick filter based on a component. So just to, of course, you know, component, we're not going to spend too much time on that. Component is like a label. So in my case, it doesn't really matter too much. So let's go to the components and make sure it is called um, backend, 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 okay, backend, uh, maybe, maybe one more, where we are, components, this one is already backend, uh, and components, and this one is going to be backend as well, so no, no, no problem, we've got three three tickets here. By the way, you can actually create components from that left hand side. So it's like a tag. Like in, in some cases, even people can treat this as the sub project. Very cool. Uh, my, my new uh, tutorial book components coming soon. Cool. So now let's actually explore um, how to add them. So you need to, you need to know a very little bit how, um, how to use JQL, but don't worry. You know, of course, you can copy paste uh, my instructions. So go to the board settings navigate to the quick filters and right now we're going to add a new one so i'm going to add backend only whatever and at the moment that jql what you need to know a little bit uh so of course you know, we need to use components and it's just going to like help you to do that equals and we go for backend and i'm go and add and of course, you know, you can add whatever you want. It's just, just require that little extra uh, JQL code. Yeah, we, let's go back. And at the moment, I'm going to enable backends only. And as you can see, three tickets, 
very 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 cool it's actually I, I, I really really like this functionality and what is very cool about this you can mix them together yeah so you can actually have like even two three or five enable so please don't forget the operator between them is and so two parameters must be reached okay so this is how we go we're going to use quick filters quick filters uh, are global not global for as jira but global for the project and associated with the board so if for instance five six or 50 or 100 people got access to this board there is no way you can create like a private uh, basically um, a quick filter so everyone is going to see the, the components which is which 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 of course got access to this board cool so now there is another very cool thing it's a quick so we, we already spoke about quick filter. there are actually swim lanes yeah so swim lane what is a swim lane? swim lane again is a filter however it is not possible to enable and disable obviously if you go into the settings but it will uh, sort the, 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 the tickets or issues on the board in horizontal way so for, for just to show you maybe not going to make a super sense but i'm going to go for story yeah storyline storyline why not so i'm going to go again you need that little jql which is going to be issue <laughs> issue type equals story there you go let's add it and let's see how it works so at the moment, as you can see, we've got story because it's the first swim line and the next one is everything else. And it doesn't really matter, you know, how you're going to sort them. But what is what is very important just to have like a distinct difference between them, because using quick filters plus swim lines, super powerful tool. OK, so now we're almost going towards the end of this training to this, this video. I'm going to show you also how to use the colors. Yeah very cool very 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 cool feature uh just adding like extra bits again we're gonna add um colors based on the components why not let's do it or maybe assign it i'm gonna show you how to do it so again we're gonna navigate to the board settings go to card colors and at the moment i have a, well i don't have to like this queries but at the moment the, the default i think is by the issue type so you've got like task, bag, you know, story, whatever, probably wrong color. I would just make make sure the story is maybe something like blue. The subtask is no problem, but that would be a little bit misleading to me because actually um, bags have got it, they are red. So let's have a look how it looks like, yeah? There you go. So as you can see, this little like the stripe is telling me that the red one, yeah, which is misleading, it's a story. But let's change it two components so like you know we take adding just for demonstration purpose so let's go to the bird settings card colors and of course you can choice between pri maybe priorities maybe like we've got assignees issue types but what what's going to happen if you would like to add something based on a component no problem whatsoever go to the queries and again copy component equals backend and again, I'm going to maybe choose a different color, yeah? So I'm going to go for maybe something like this yellow, whatever. <laughs> Looks nice. Cool. Let's add it. Let's go back. And again, as you can see, I can clearly see what is the component. On top of it, there is, of course, the card, uh, the, the card layout over here. I'm going to explain it in the next uh, tutorial when we're going to talk about more advanced stuff. But this is how you going to utilize uh, this three really powerful functionality so please don't forget about of course you know, how to configure your um, simplify workflow using the board settings quick filters and of course swim lanes and just to let you know the information what you've actually been watching it's part of my training course so you're gonna find more details in the descriptions and one more word i need your help <laughs> Yes, I really need your help. If you are thinking about some other topics, please let me know. Just comment it and I am going to record a new video about this. Thank you so much and hope to see you again soon.